Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be like a day in my life type of video and the first thing I do when I wake up is I make coffee. So I usually go to Starbucks and my go-to drink is a venti iced latte with two sugar-free vanilla and two hazelnut. That is my favorite. Um, although I have been switching back and forth with the vanilla sweet cream cold brew at Starbucks, that is so good as well. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to make breakfast. Um, I'll show you guys what I make. Um, I've been making it pretty consistently for breakfast for the past like month and a half. I really like it. It's really simple. So I'll show you guys what it is. Okay, so you're gonna need eggs. You're gonna need some cheese. Hold on. Um, some bread, some butter. What else? Oh, the most important ingredients. This everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to crack two eggs into a bowl. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cheese onto the eggs. Okay. And then I'm going to beat it all together. Okay, so now I'm gonna cook my eggs. And then while the eggs are cooking, I'm going to do my toast. So this is sourdough bread from um, Sprouts. It is so good. So I'm just gonna throw this into the toaster. Probably the most important ingredient in this entire food thing um, is this everything but the bagel seasoning and I'm going to put it on my bread. Yes, I put mustard on my eggs. Um, I didn't realize how weird this was until like a couple years ago um, when I was getting some weird looks from people um, when I was putting mustard on my eggs. I don't know, I've done it my entire life. Um, my dad's the one that introduced it to our family. Our entire family puts mustard on our eggs. It's weird, I didn't realize it's weird. I've been doing it my entire life, but it's really good. If you like mustard, try it, okay? Please don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so here is my breakfast. Eggs and cheese with mustard on top and um, sourdough bread toasted with butter and the everything but the bagel seasoning. It is so good. Okay, so I just finished breakfast and I'm gonna do some baking. I'm going to make some brownies and cookies for my brother. Um, these are the chocolate gluten-free brownies from Betty Crocker. These are so good. Um, and I'll show you the cookies when I get to them, but these take about 30 minutes to make, so I'm gonna get started on those now. They are gluten-free, grain-free, vegan, um, soy-free, a bunch of things free. Um, these are really good and they're really easy to make. You just cut up 
slices and then throw them in the oven and they're ready. So I'm gonna start doing that. So here's the final product of all the sweet treats I made. So this is the applesauce cake. I made it last night. Um, the recipe before this is in my quarantine baking video. It is so good. Um, but I kind of messed up here in the corner. I was so upset, but um, I was putting down the frosting and it was like really thick, I guess. And it was lifting the cake up. So it's not as pretty, but it still tastes really good. So just don't look at that, just ignore that. Um, here are the cookies I made, really easy. You just cut them up and pop them in the oven. And here are the brownies. So I'm gonna go drop these off for him and surprise him. Okay, so I just got back home and some packages were here waiting for me. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I got. So the first thing is this Coca-Cola tie-dyed, kind of a cropped t-shirt. Um, Coca-Cola is, or well was, my favorite soda drink. It's been four years since I last had soda, but Coca-Cola was my favorite. So I think this is super cute. Okay, next is this really cute top from BCBG. It's a little cropped and it's off the shoulder as well. So I'll have to wear like a strapless bra with this, but I think it's so cute and it's so comfy. Okay, so here is the next outfit. This skirt is from Free People. It is a tie-dye long blue skirt. And this top is a crop top and it's from BCBG. Um, the quality of this top is really nice, but it is a bit sheer. You can see my bra here, um, but I don't mind. I still think it's really cute, so. I got that same top that I just showed you, but in a different color. I got it in this beautiful blue color. Um, the quality is so nice again, but I am just obsessed with this color. I think it's so pretty. Okay, so the last thing I got are these balloon pants from Free People. Um, I got it in this like mint color and they're so nice, really high-waisted, really flattering. Um, I think that's a pocket, is it? Oh my gosh, how weird. That's a deep pocket. I don't know what I'd use that for, but okay. Um, but yeah, I think these pants are really cute. Okay, so I'm on my way to grab some lunch. Um, I'm going to go to this protein smoothie place down in Scottsdale. They have like 40 different flavors. It's crazy. I haven't been able to try them all, but my favorite is the banana cream pie. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's my protein shake, um, and they also give you a tea to drink as well. You're supposed to drink it first, which I already did. It was a raspberry tea. It was really good. And here is my banana cream pie shake. It has graham crackers inside as well. It is delicious. I can't wait to drink this. So I forgot to show you guys something else I got. I got a new pair of sunglasses. Here's the case. It's this beautiful red velvet case. Um, I'm a bit of a sunglass fanatic. I love sunglasses, and I like to get a new pair over the summer. So here is my new pair. Let me show you. So pretty. Let me take them out. So here they are. Are they extra? Yes, but I love them. Look who just came back from the groomers. Felix. Six. Felix. <laughs> Hi. You look so fluffy. You look so clean. Hey, Brie. <laughs> yeah, he's so cute. All right, are we ready to go? Yeah, all right, let's go.
Okay, so I got True Food Kitchen for dinner. So I got a teriyaki quinoa bowl with chicken and it looks delicious. Guy, I look rough. Um, anyways, so since I didn't do any cooking tonight, I thought I would do some virtual cooking. So I'm gonna play some Overcook with my sister. Okay, so it's time to wind down. Um, it's 8.30 right now. So I'm going to do some reading. Um, my sister and I actually started a book club. It's called BBO. You guys let me know what you think it stands for. Um, but right now we're reading The Book Thief. And so far so good. We're about a fifth of the way there. We're 100 pages in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna go to bed. I am so tired, my eyes are red. I just need some sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye everyone.